Well, here it is, September 2nd, or 3rd, I'm not really sure. Um, on our way to go scout some land. Okay, so we were driving down the road and we saw an elk. I made Dustin turn around. We're on our way back to see if it's still standing there. It was literally standing in somebody's front yard. On both. Did you see it moving? Yeah. Oh my God. Welcome back to Boom Hook and Hoof. Today we're under some saw guy fishing at Indian Lake. The temperature is 63 degrees and it is Sunday, April 9th, 2017. We'll make a stop, grab some drinks, and I think I need to pick up a stringer and a cooler because I forgot them at home. And we'll get to fishing. Well, the people I was originally going to meet up here to go fishing today did it. They had something up, they didn't make it. But I got my cousin and my uncle come up and meet me. I'll go introduce you to them. And we got it down here. Curtis, say hi to the camera. What's up, camera? <laughs> you realize it's gonna be on YouTube, don't act like an idiot. Oh. <laughs> so today, ladies and gentlemen, we're here and we're fishing in the wilds of Indian Lake, Ohio. We're searching for a crazy saw guy. It's got like a weird messed up face. It's really hard, really big predatory fish and as you can see the river here is pretty flowing really fast and and what we're gonna have to do is a little old technique that I like to call not noodling we're not noodling not today that's not today but that's gonna be tomorrow but uh, yeah you know as you can see it's a beautiful day out and um, you know we've really caught a lot of fish well I have they caught a tree he caught a stick I actually caught a tree. Nobody's actually caught any fish. I don't even know if we really had any bites. But uh, it's all right though, because uh, we're in good company. You got one really sexy guy, two sort of sexy guys, I guess, but I'm pretty much the main one. But uh, yeah, yeah, mate, uh, if you get a chance, come down to Indian Lake when we're at the, uh, we're at the little big Indian Ridge River. Why do you keep looking away from the camera? Oh, I thought you were viewing. <laughs> You and out over the distance. This is a technique. This is a good fishing technique for all you that's watching it. My great Indian friend, Chief Hillababa, taught me. It's an Indian fishing dance. I'm calling the great spirits of the fish. I so want to run and push you in the water right now. <laughs> now after that dance, ladies and gentlemen, we will catch ourselves a little fish. Except my pole broke. Well, it didn't break my line snap. Why don't you fix it? Tired. <laughs> Tired, mate. I had a long day. I got up at 10 o'clock this morning, got ready for church. I'm going to start at 10.30. Actually, I was up at 9. Uh, you know the funny thing is about that? What? Is it? I got up at 7, and I slept in for almost three hours. <laughs> hey, sleeping in, if I get to sleep in until 9, it's a good day. I'm usually up at 5 o'clock. Some of us got work for a living. Not me, though. Oh, here we go. Not me, I don't work. We know. I just sat there. Look at myself in the mirror all day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, enough of him. Let's go over the rod and reel set that I'm using here. We've got the Shakespeare GX2. Six foot, I read medium right. action, and as you everybody has now seen, my cousin is a moron. I, I've got the Quantum Pulse, so brand new reel I just picked up today. Done. First time trying it out. Only braided line I had was this um, was that Spectra 50 pound test. I was trying to test out anyway, so I put it on here. In love with the reel. Haven't caught any fish yet. I'm about to switch it up and go to something different. Well, despite not catching anything today, and the fact that I was only out for a couple hours, it was a good day. 
good day. I got to test out a new rod, new reel. Wish I had caught something to test out the new line, but maybe next week we'll hit Allen Creek, do some musky fishing. Hopefully the water ain't too warm by then. Hope you guys enjoy this. Like and subscribe.